Drivers already ready for a long night in Metro Detroit. On the phone with us yeah. now is Craig Rison, spokesperson for the Oakland County Road Commission. Craig, let's get right to it. What is your strategy on the road tonight? Well, uh, as was mentioned earlier, we sent uh, about half of our drivers home a little bit earlier to, uh, to get some rest. Um, and at about 2 a.m., we're going to bring uh, everybody back in and, and hit it hard. Um, we've also uh, got some private companies uh, that are uh, contracted with us that will be uh, coming in around 2 a.m. to help out as well. So it's all hands on deck for the uh, preparing for the rush hour tomorrow morning, and we're going to uh, throw everything at it. Well, Craig, you know, a lot of times neighborhoods and side streets, uh, those are kind of messy for a while. So do you attack the main roads first? Absolutely. The, uh, the traffic volumes, the speeds, uh, both are much higher on the, on the main roads. So safety dictates that we hit those first. Um, neighborhood streets, subdivision streets have the, the lowest traffic volumes, the lowest speeds. So um, unfortunately, that, uh, that's at the bottom of the priority list uh, based on safety. I know they're resting right now, but once the drivers do get back out on the roads um, early tomorrow morning, how long do you think they will be out there? What kind of shifts are we talking about? Well, more than likely 16 hours. Uh, it's going to be a lot of cleanup to do tomorrow. And, you know, we'll still have the snow falling once the snow stops. Uh, we'll be out for probably several days uh, doing cleanup. So we're at this point, we're expecting them to work uh, probably in some cases a second 16-hour shift uh, starting around 2 a.m. And what do we need to do to make it easier for you to get the roads clear? Well, if you don't have to drive, uh, certainly stay off the roads. That, that helps. Um, if you are out there, please just give our uh, plow trucks plenty of room to do their job. Uh, you know, the big trucks, they take a lot of room to, to stop and turn. Uh, certainly, please don't try to pass a plow truck on the right-hand side. Uh, many of our trucks now have wing plows that uh, extend from the right-hand side of the trucks, and uh, you don't want to discover one of those uh, there if you didn't know it was there. All right, Craig Bryson, thank you so much. Great advice. Everybody stay safe, and I'm sure Craig will be talking to you again tomorrow. Very good. Thank you.